All right, and here is the video review for Cyberverse Beef Tank's rival Hamhawk. Uh, he is an ultimate, it's Optimus Prime, I'm just kidding. But he, I mean, look at him. As cool as Beef Tank was in his tank mode, he kind of looks like a ham hawk. Um, yeah, here's his car mode, and, and it rolls okay. There's a little resistance on this wheel over here, and you'll see why in a minute, if I can get it to work on this surface. But um, he's, he's kind of a chubby truck. This is his weakest of the two modes. Uh, he's kind of the opposite of Megatron here. But, I mean, like, he's recognizable as, yeah, that's supposed to be Optimus. That's not bad. The, the weird windows up here are a little odd, but whatever. Now, his he does have a gimmick, and it functions in both modes, much like Megatron's does. And that if you push here on his hood, it pops open the gimmick. And the reason there's some resistance on this wheel is because when you're, when, once he's rolling, it spins his little gimmick wheel. It's a little matrix that with this centripetal force or centrifugal force of spinning opens up to reveal the matrix and it's some sort of like matrix burst blast or something. It's a little easier to get it working, especially if you're just rolling it along on, on a hard surface or on a carpeted surface. You can really get it going well here. Uh, robot mode's a little bit more difficult to get it spinning really nicely. But uh, kind of a neat little gimmick there. And then to put it away, you just lift this up fold it back in and it'll automatically, although this one likes to get caught, they both like to get caught sometimes, but you fold this up in, back into the, the body. And you wanna make sure not to be pushing on the roof while you do it because the button that activates the gimmick is, is right here under, it's right there under the post. You can kind of see that slightly lighter red button. So, it, and it doesn't take a whole lot of pressure on this top thing to pop it out. So uh, just be careful of that. It helps to just lift the whole lit, uh, roof of the truck up when putting it back in. But outside of that, like I mean, the, the, both of these guys have a nice heft to them <clears throat> in both vehicle and robot mode, despite being a little a little hollower in, in robot mode than some places. Although well, Megatron's actually pretty solid all around. Optimus does have some hollow legs because of how they transform. And speaking of transformation, you just go ahead and pop these two panels off on the side, unsnap his legs, and flip them around. And when you're going to vehicle mode, you'll, you'll hit some resistance up here, and you do want to make sure to click those all the way down. Otherwise, these panels won't line up to tap into the cab. So flip those down, fold the red panels in underneath to form the heel, no, no, the heel underside of his feet. And you can see he's got some hollow legs, but again, it's not as concerning as concerning as uh, Starscream's entirely hollow legs that do nothing. So there's his legs done. And then to transform the rest of the way, you want to take this whole top assembly up and lift it back. Open up these panels and flip them around. Untab the arms. And you can see the wheels are snap-in wheels, which I'm never really a big fan of. But on this side, you'll notice there's this one has a post on it on the inside because that goes right in there to uh, activate the, the chest gimmick when it's deployed. You open these up, bring his arms out and around, uh, flip his head forward, you bring this whole assembly down and around. You see this piece folds into here and then and snaps into place and then these two tabs on the underside of his body are gonna snap into the lower half. And then once that's done, you come back here. Let me go ahead and lift him up. And then the backpack, there's two little tabs here that are going to tab into his back. Now this piece is a little floppy, and there is, I can see there's a spring that you, uh, I don't know how well you can see the little holes here on this piece, but there's a spring that goes into here and also sits right back up here. And it, it has just enough spring to kind of pop, I mean, if you hold it up like this, it's not strong enough to hold it in place. And I'm sure that's because if they made it too much stronger, it, this would interrupt the deployment of the gimmick in vehicle mode. But it does have just enough spring to uh, to put push it back into place on his back, so it won't it won't stay there if, if you shake him around. But it will tend to pop back in place with that spring. It's a very weak spring, but it does its job for the most part. Like I said, holding up like this, it's going to hang back. But as soon as you stand him up, it pops back into place. <clears throat> and here he is in robot mode, and he uh, articulation wise already much better than Megatron. He does still have like the front of the truck on his fist, which is a little, eh, I wish they could have found a way to maybe flip those back around. But um, but for the most part, he has, a, he has a neck swivel. 
He's got rotating shoulders, outward shoulders. He has elbows, ratcheting elbows. Uh, no waist swivel, sadly, due to the transformation, but ratcheting hips, both front to back and side to side. Thigh swivel, and he does have knees. So he's actually pretty poseable, and again, stylistically, a really nice representation of Optimus. And again, looks really good with Megatron. So yeah, of, of the three, or the four Cyberverse figures I have, I think either one of the Ultimates are cool if you like the design. Um, like I said, I really wanted Megatron for his tank mode, and I couldn't get Megatron without at least having an Optimus for him to square off. And I have to admit, Optimus, probably the better of the two. Both size-wise, he's a little bit more poseable in robot mode, and he looks really cool as Optimus. Like, let's see, both of these are, are right on the line of, they're worth about what they're charging for him, I feel. Um, I wouldn't pay any more for them, and uh, I can understand a few people if they wanted to. Like, I'd really wish they were a little bit less. I get it, but 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 I but I think they're right there, kind of towing that line on the value for the thirty bucks you're paying for them, both in size and heft and and, and playability and fun. So he also has these. You can see these little separate pieces up here are are detached from the main torso because even here in robot mode. You push on one of this little vent. Can you do it from this side? Okay, you can do it from this side, but the button's actually over here, so it's better to do it from this side. But pushing on that vent, auto flips out the gimmick. Here's his chest open. There's some Energon tech dealing in, detailing inside there. And in order to get it to work now, you have to take this wheel here and spin it counterclockwise. And it works. You can see it's spinning. But it uh, because you, you can see there's a lot of... One, if you go backwards, it, it doesn't work at all. But there, there's a little bit of a... <clears throat> you can kind of see this little pin here that moves as you move it. That has to be engaged, and it's real easy. Like, when you, if you give it a good hard flick to spin it, that will go up top. So the next spin, it's going to be a little... It, it takes a little bit of spinning before it engages the mechanism. So if you really want to just get back there and really just go, go at it, although it's working a little better now than it was earlier... You will have some times where you're going to have to where the, this wheel's going to move. You can see before it actually engages the thing. And if you, if you if you manage to just constantly keep motion on it, it should keep it forward enough that you can keep that gimmick going. But it's entirely up to you. But it's neat that they put that in there. That you can still deploy it in his chest mode. And you just lift his head up, fold it back in, so it snaps into place. Fold his head back down, and now it's all stored away. So yeah, all in all, like I said, the, the Ultimates have non-obtrusive gimmicks. Um, although I feel like his truck mode could probably be a little better proportioned if they weren't fitting this gimmick into it. But it could just be the design. Uh, maybe I'm wrong there. But uh, unobtrusive gimmicks that are kind of fun to play with. Like I said, this, the spinning gimmick's a little difficult here in robot mode, but works really well in vehicle mode. Megatron's, uh, again, works better in vehicle mode, I think of the two, but it's fun to push that button and just have his little candy go flanky, flanky, flanky beef tank. Um, so yeah, um, like, like I said, I, I, think, I think Megatron has a better alt looking alt mode uh, and a nice looking robot mode. Optimus Prime definitely has a much nicer looking robot mode with a kind of janky alt mode. It, it really depends on what you're looking for. They both do something decently. And uh, although I do think just as a pure straight up how much fun can I have playing with this? How much does this look like the character I remember? How much fun is it as an action figure in robot mode? I still think Optimus wins the battle. I feel like I'd, if I had to rank them, I'd say Optimus. And then Megatron and Warrior Class Shockwave are right about at that same level of intricacy for me. Um, and then Starscream's much further down the list, and I haven't played with any others. Uh, I don't intend to play with any others unless they put out... Like up, if they put out something more along the lines of these Ultimates figures, um, I might be interested in those. But outside of that, I have not seen anything that's really making me go, oh, that's something I have to have. Megatron's tank mode sold me on him. I'm glad I got him. Uh, I bought the Optimus mostly to go with Megatron, and I do think Optimus is the better of the two figures, so I feel like I kind of won there too. But th that's Cyberverse, Optimus Prime, and the Ultimate class, and uh, he's pretty cool.